peace and love everyone hi thank you for being here myself and these beautiful women of color just wanted to come together and create a space for us to be able to hear some healing vibrations some healing tunes uh do a guided meditation um and just really create a space for us to be able to release some of this energy that we've been consuming with everything that's going on with the universe and just create a safe space to be able to release to be able to be guided to be able to be tuned in for whatever it is that you can be doing during this time we're not here to tell you what to do this is just a safe space to allow spirit to come in and to guide you so hope you enjoy At this time, we call in all guiding ancestors, willing teachers, and ascended masters, Archangel Michael and the will of all encompassing space. May spirit guide us this journey specifically for the community. May our vessels communicate clearly so that you may receive. Now, you're going to take three cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's begin. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. Every breath you take is there now to cleanse your body. And each exhale, melt more and more into your surroundings. Feel the heaviness like honey, not tense. Warm. Imagine a red light. Sweet. Illuminated. Move it towards your pelvic region, down under your sit bones. Let it radiate as you find within you your sacred roots. Pull down from your sit bones, your sacred roots, pull them out and down. Root them back into the ground where they belong, where you belong, down, down, down breaking through the earth down until they reach the molten core where she transmutes everything for you. Everything you exhale when you bring in that red light through your nostrils and you exhale, bring that red light all the way down through those roots, those sacred roots. And give all your troubles back to Gaia because she knows how to transmute for
for you. She'll recycle. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about where they go. All of the negativity, all the stress and the tension, just for a moment, let it go. Give it to her because she knows and she will hold. The space is safe. It's for you. Honor yourself and your sacred roots. Connect back to our ancient mother who wants nothing but to nurture you. Receive. Believe and have faith that you have the ability to root yourself at any time of day. Remember your power as we move upwards towards our sacral chakra. Take a deep cleansing breath in. And as you exhale, feel the power and the light growing from your root chakra to your lower abdomen where your sacral chakra is located. See the red light slowly transform to orange. Feel this power, feel this light growing within you. Feel how strong and how rooted you are and protected. Take a deep breath in and a cleansing exhale. Release what's not serving, what's not giving you hope, and what's not giving you light. Hold on to your courage. And as you take a deep breath in, Feel the orange light cultivating the ability for self-acceptance, gracefulness, and flexibility. Take a deep cleansing breath in. And as you exhale, release the tension from anywhere that's located within your body. May we find the courage to continue to nurture ourselves as a radical act of self-love and continue. Be in the moment. Feel empowered. You're more powerful than you. Breathe in as we move toward our solar plexus. As we move on up from our root chakra into our sacral chakra. And we come home to our solar plexus, which is located in the pit of our stomach. This is a fire element. This represents the color yellow. And this is where our power lies. Allow us to breathe into this area. Visualize a yellow sphere burning bright, guiding us.
letting us know that we are powerful. We are worthy of love, kindness, and respect. And we are strong. Allow us to shed any doubts, any fears, insecurities as you breathe in. Breathe into this power. And when you breathe out, breathe out all the fear that you're carrying. Let this be a reminder of your power. May you persevere in the face of adversity. The fire within me burns through all fears and blockages. I am strength. Let's take one deep breath in. And exhale with a sigh. Now, breathe as we move into the heart chakra. We move into the heart chakra. The chakra of love, of kindness, the chakra of unity. May we breathe in the unity of love the unity of togetherness, bringing all energies together, all people together. We see this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful green just shining being part of us as a collective, uniting all. Breathing in love and caring. Breathing in everyone who is out there who needs that kindness in their hearts right now bringing together anyone and everyone who may be hurting, sending that energy of love out to the universe, reaching all ends, reaching to the north, to the south, to the west and to the east. May we breathe in the kindness and breathe out love. Take a deep inhale in and exhale with excitement and true powerful love for everyone and for the universe and gratefulness for the togetherness that everyone is trying to show in these moments. Now breathe as we move into the throat chakra.
as you breathe from your heart space, you begin to breathe. You begin to see this green light fade into blue. Feel this blue light beginning to orbit around your throat chakra. Feel it orbiting around your throat. Know that this place is the place of communicating your personal truth. This is the frequency that emanates so much power for your words that you speak come from this throat. As you breathe and you feel this blue light orbiting around and throughout your throat, opening and activating your throat chakra energy. May you feel any need to hold back from your personal truth dissolving itself out of this throat chakra energy. May you feel any blockages as it relates to setting healthy boundaries and speaking from a loving place, communicating your truth from a place of compassion and empathy. Feel any blocks as it represents and as it relates to that, leaving your body. Feel this blue light begin to orbit in a circular motion. Feel that throat energy balancing. As you speak your truth in these times, as you vibrate, be mindful of what you speak as every word that comes out of your mouth from this throat energy has power, has a vibration, and it goes off into this universe. So may you heal the parts of you that find it hard to say no, to set boundaries, to speak in a loving place. May you heal the parts of you that speak from a place of defense. And as your heart, your solar plexus, your sacral, and your root have all opened and balanced, may your throat speak from that heal place speaking your truth, asserting your truth, and manifesting your truth. Now breathe. As we move into our third eye chakra, connection to the energies at our forehead. See beyond what is in the physical. Allow the sounds to connect to your inner guidance, your intuition. Become one with light. Allow the color of indigo or whatever color that resonates with you in this moment to be your life force energy. To seek and receive truth. Helping you to stay spiritually connected to your ancestors, your higher self. Your empathic self. The higher sensory and the higher consciousness that has brought you here into this space because you know that this space is sacred. And for those who are hurting beyond words, may you see the light and allow this light to wash all over your body, 
into your heart, grounding you, helping you to be connected one with this light. Knowing that fear is the cause of doing anything that is reactionary. So we hold space for those who want to be in stillness. For those who seek peace. For those who now want to move into the crown chakra, the chakra that's at the top of your head, being connected with your spirit guides, asking them now to come into your consciousness, allow the energies of your ancestors. What can we learn from our ancestors as we bring them into our space, into this collective. Allow the visions to be open and clear. Giving yourself the permission to receive the guidance of a higher power of God, creator, spirit. Whatever word that works for you Allow these sacred and divine energies to begin to connect with your aura, with every cell in your body, with your breath. Begin to deepen the breath, inhaling into the nose, taking in this sacred vibrational energy. And exhaling out with a sigh surrendering into this divine wisdom into these divine messages that are collectively brought here for you right now into this shared collective as we all come together with our own intentions but all being united with love holding these frequencies now for your greater good and the greater good for your family, your neighbors, your community, strangers, and for the world and Mother Earth. Let all living and non-living beings be united as one. Let us learn from our ancestors, learn from our history. What can we bring into this space to enlighten and unite? Be here now. We close our circle in deep, humble gratitude for the energy that we have received. We close knowing that we are an all-powerful being from within, that we can access this energy at any time. We can always recalibrate, go back to the earth, even from within our homes and connect. As you go forth, remember to be safe, stay protected, stay focused, 
and discipline for yourself. Your love for yourself has to be greater than their hate. This is warrior shit. This is faith. You got it all. We honor you. Ashe. Blessed be. Ashe.